What is going on YouTube? So today I thought that I'd kind of step the videos up a little bit and show you exactly how I'm structuring my swim training at the moment, what I'm kind of doing to get around the fact that there's no pools open. Um, we've got this good opportunity here with like a smaller training pool. So we've got some stretch cords here to do a bit of dry land work. And then we're gonna jump in the pool and I'm gonna show you like exactly the session that I put together to keep some training going. And um, yeah, still, still kind of keep that swimming up. This is the equipment we've got for the session. So we've got some swim cords here with the paddles attached to work on a bit of technique stuff before we jump in the water. Then we've got paddles for a bit of strength work, the snorkel and obviously cap and goggles. So first up, what we're gonna do is grab the swim stretch cords and do a bit of dry land work. And I'm gonna talk you through exactly what I'm doing before I get into the water to just make sure I'm activating and building up a little bit of strength as well. So let's get into it. So what we wanna do with the swim cords before we jump in the water is kind of isolate that technique. So for me, it's important to bend at the hips in a nice kind of squatting position and then activate the core. And then what we're gonna do is do single arm pull throughs, focusing on a nice high elbow and making sure that the hand follows the path of the elbow. So we don't wanna be crossing under, we don't wanna be going too far out. We wanna be dipping our head and then a nice pull through with a high elbow on that same line. So now that we're all activated, um, we're gonna jump in the pool. It's just starting to rain a little bit, but let's just have fun with it and get in and do it. This is Boston, our uh, golden retriever lifeguard. It's always important to have a lifeguard and stay safe when you're swimming. He's just inspecting the equipment that we've got today. Since the last video, we've kind of upgraded. We've got these proper swim stretch cords. Um, Boston, you're okay with that? Yeah, I think he's good. <laughs> And then we've got our standard kind of like stretch band that we're going to kind of wrap around our waist. With this today, we're going to do a bit of a warm up. And then the plan is swim specific um, sprint set with these stretch cords, which should be a bit of fun. So working on some overspeed work, which is actually a lot of fun with these stretch cords, which you'll see. So what we've done so far is about 10 minutes of just normal swimming um, with the snorkel on. We've done about 10 minutes with paddles and within that first 10 minutes of normal swimming, I've done a bit of kick, a bit of single arm drill. And now what we're gonna do is get into some sprints. So we're gonna push off the wall as hard as I can go and then do about 10 strokes at absolute max to try and get the full stretch of the bungee cord and then get like blasted back to the wall, which is kind of a bit of fun as well. So we'll do this about 20 or so times at full maximal effort.
So that is the quarantine swim session done and dusted. So it was about 30 to 40 minutes worth. One thing I will say that's like been a good tip and something that I've been doing is having something at the bottom of the pool as like a reference point. So for me, I've just added a brick at the bottom of the pool that I kind of use to keep myself straight. Um, and I think the biggest takeaway point from something like this is just do what you can do, mix it up, keep it interesting, because that's all you can really do with training at the moment. It's hard with no big goals on the horizon, but just getting in, getting a session like that done when you can, just make the most of it. Have fun and, and enjoy it and see you on the next one.